Oh. Melanie, right. Well, the Scotland referendum uh, meant that the United Kingdom was kept together. And I think this trend towards more regionalisation is weakening it by the back door. Um, first of all, you don't really want another tier of government, I would have thought. Mm. Uh, Manchester, two years ago, was it, voted against having an elected mayor. Suddenly, it's having an elected mayor thrust upon it by George Osborne for reasons which, at the moment, seem a little <laughs> opaque. I mean, it's been said rather uncharitably that the purpose of, elected, of, 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 of giving or imposing an elected mayor on Manchester is that when you know, painful cuts have to be made, as they will uh, in the years to come, um, then it's going to be the elected mayor that's going to take the, take, the, take the rap rather than the central government. Far be it for me to be so cynical. But what I really worry about with all this regionalisation, it's the weakening of Parliament. You see, it comes back to our first question. Why have people lost trust in politicians? Part of the reason is because politicians have basically exported their power. And devolution is part of that. Um, but if they are going to start setting up elected mayors, setting up regional assemblies, supposing these regional assemblies uh, are led by parties or politicians who absolutely oppose what Westminster is doing. Now, you in the North East may say, that's what we want. But in terms of a nation, keeping a nation together, it's a recipe for chaos. It's a recipe for weakening the nation. And I think that we need to be strengthening the nation, not weakening. So it's OK for Scotland, but not for England, uh, regionally, to do what Scotland has done? Well, I took a very unfashionable view at the time, uh, which may amaze you. Um, that uh, devolution for Scotland was not a sensible idea because it would actually exacerbate the move or the feeling for independence. And so it proved. And I don't mm. think that story okay. is over yet. Dr. Mm. Alexander. I think you have.